In history, wars are often huge turning points, and within wars, battles often act as turning points that dictate the outcome of those wars. One battle that historians often refer to as the turning point of the Civil War was the Battle of Gettysburg. If the Union had lost this battle, the U.S. might look very different today. <laughs> Thought Monkey here. Today we'll be reviewing a major battle in the Civil War, the Battle of Gettysburg. It was in spring 1863 when the Civil War was nearing the end of its third year that the General of the Confederate Army, Robert E. Lee, had just defeated a key Union force twice the size of Lee's. After the battle, Lee rode down to Richmond to speak with the President of the Confederacy, Jefferson Davis, to discuss his plans to invade the North. At the same time, Union President Abraham Lincoln was becoming frustrated by the fact that Lee was making every Union general out to seem incompetent. Lincoln's best general, however, Ulysses S. Grant, was starting the 40-day siege of Vicksburg, which would ultimately shut down the Mississippi River and stop any transportation by it to the South. The question remains, however, who was going to stop Lee, and by June 1863, where was he? In Washington, there were reports of Lee crossing the Potomac River and marching into Northern Territory preparing to invade Southern Pennsylvania. At the same time, another Confederate cavalry was riding into Pennsylvania from the East. When these words reached the North, many began to panic. Many people living in Southern Pennsylvania began to flee, and in the small town of Gettysburg, the community waited anxiously. At this point, Lincoln made a change in command and appointed George Meade as the new general of the Union Army on June 27th, and his first day of battle, which would take place in Gettysburg, was just four days away. It's rare that a commander of the army has such a short amount of time to prepare. Meade knew something was stirring and wrote to his wife before the battle, stating, Lee has assumed the offensive and is going to strike a blow. By June 30th, both Confederate and Union armies had settled into the positions at Gettysburg. Both armies numbered around 75,000. Over the next three brutal days, the armies would clash, making it one of the largest battles ever fought in the Western Hemisphere. Both the Union and Confederate armies suffered great losses over those three days, and between 20,000 to 25,000 soldiers were hurt or killed on each side. But it was the Union that would come out victorious. Several months later, Abraham Lincoln traveled to Gettysburg to help make a dedicated national cemetery there. It was there that he stated, Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation, conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. He continued to explain his feelings about the war and how he felt that the Civil War was a war to expand freedom and democracy. The bloody Civil War finally came to an end in 1865 when Confederate General Lee was surrounded by the Union Army when trying to resupply. Nearly a million people had lost their lives, but it could be argued over three million people had gained their right to live their lives in freedom when the southern slave population was emancipated. Thanks for watching the video and hit the thumbs up button below if you liked it and subscribe to stay updated with the latest Thought Monkey video.